two, one. And liftoff. So Chris Sale is changing his socks, the White Sox to the Red Sox. So three, the Indians are seeing less of him. It's going to be in the AL East. But two, they're going to see more of him when it matters. Because when you see Chris Sale with the White Sox in the middle of June, when the White Sox aren't doing anything, they're going to see this guy in the playoffs, I think. Number one, this is telling me that the Indians are changing the American League. The Red Sox were a really good team last year, and they had some good pitching, and they felt like they needed more. Because they know when they see the Indians at their best, when they have Kluber and Carrasco and Salazar, the Red Sox, for as good as they are, are in their head thinking, how can we match the Indians? Getting Chris Sale helps them do that. I agree with that. Three, it shows that they're still ALC central favorites. I mean, come on, even bigger favorites than before. Two, under the radar. This is, happens every offseason. Guys like you start talking about who won the offseason, who won the winter meetings. Great. The Indians don't mind being under the radar. They showed that last year. And one, they're amused by the hype. This is a Red Sox team they swept without two of their starting pitchers. I don't think they're worried about this. I feel like you are constantly angry about interesting sports topics. Can't we talk about the winter meetings and off-season hype? Is that okay with you? This is supposed to be fun, but I think this is a very interesting move. Now, the Indians didn't need to make a move like this, but I think the, the Indians can also think about, okay, the, in, the Red Sox got better. The Indians don't need pitching. How can the Indians get better? I love this stuff.